In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the cowl section off of this truck and then remove another one off another truck and then take that one and install it onto this truck. Confused yet? Don't worry. It'll all make sense soon enough. All right, so we are back at it. I'm finally getting back to the seat time belt. First order of business, I'm going to do something about this cowl section. I got a junkyard about 10 minutes away from my house that actually has a couple of these C10s and there's one that has a immaculate, perfect cowl section. So everything in this section, once I'm done with it, is going to be mint. So once you get all the spot welds drilled out, you're gonna basically try to split the panel like I have here. The best part of working on cars right here. Taking tools and making them into better tools. So once I have the spot weld cut out, I can break it free using my nifty little tool. Obviously, if you want to be fancy, you can always use one of these. So I got this piece off. It wasn't too bad. It was a lot of drilling. There's a couple spots that I could have been a little bit more gentle on, but it is what it is. I still have part of a lip here that I got to remove. So I'll do that next. And then it's time to take out the grinding wheel and get all this down to bare metal and see what other rust is hiding behind here. It doesn't look too bad, but I'm honestly glad that I ripped it apart to this point because there's a lot of spots that have a lot of rust that would have just rotted through eventually. So. So this is probably 10 minutes into me grinding and I'm uncovering a lot of stuff that I figured I would see, but this is bad. This is real thin, especially this area right here. All right. So I think the best plan of attack at this point is just to stop and take a small little road trip to that junkyard I was telling you about, because I think I might need a little bit more than just a cowl section. All right. See you there. So far what I got cut up, I got this whole section cut out on both sides. So really all that's left is undoing a bunch of stuff that's behind there and then just cutting across here. And then at that point, the panel's mine. It's all mine. Oh, by the way, check out this roof. Hello, hello. Yeah, that's uh, pretty trashed. I've made as much access as I can for myself. So this thing is almost off. I got one cut to make basically right through the center section here. And uh, let's see, right through here. Oh, that's all I got left is from there to there. Problem is one battery down, two batteries down. And the third battery I had for some reason has no charge in it at all. So I got a battery charging right now. And it's just a waiting game. I got a couple more things I can tear apart, but. All right, so I got a couple more things to do on this thing, a couple things I gotta pull off. And honestly, I feel really bad that I cut up this truck, but hey, it's going to a good cause, so. See you back in the garage. 
All right, so I'm back in the garage, and that panel is nowhere to be found. Uh, there's a reason for that, because it is 25 degrees out here, and I'm not sitting out here unless I really have to. So let's go inside. All right, so out of the cold and into a t-shirt. This is nice. This is where I go to do those not-so-dirty projects when it's super cold outside. So I got this panel in here, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by removing this piece. So once I get that off, uh, we'll kind of go from there and see what the next best route of attack is because honestly i'm still undecided on exactly what i'm going to use off of this so here we are i got this piece off so far so at this point i'm going to start by drilling out all the spot welds for this cowl section also i have already removed the dash panel off this cowl section piece so if you guys want to check that out just click the link in the top right corner all right so this is where i am so far i end up drilling the spot welds on the other side from the inside of the cab that way I can keep that lip intact. And what I can do is just drill my own holes and then use those. As far as the lower section goes, I'm actually drilling it from the top, mainly because I wanna keep this piece and I'm gonna actually cut this piece out and use it on my truck. Now, if this piece on my truck was good, I would cut from the bottom. That way you could keep that lip intact. So here's one tool that is a must. You're not gonna be able to do this job obviously without a spot weld cutter, but with some kind of extension for that spot weld cutter. As you can see, if I didn't have this extension here, my angle would be like this, and you're never gonna be able to cut that way. This one I think cost me like seven or eight bucks on Amazon, so it's actually a pretty decent deal. It could be a little slimmer, but it definitely does the job. So if you guys are interested in this, I'll actually throw a link in the description to this item. So that's not bad. I mean, that was one-handed, so I couldn't really put a lot of pressure on it. All right, so that was fun. I got that panel off, and I basically just kind of clamped it down to my truck at this point. But I do want to show you guys a couple things that are going to help you out in the process. Number one, you're going to need a spot weld cutter and an extension. Number two, there's going to be two different ways you're actually going to remove this cowl section if you're using a donor vehicle. When you go to remove your actual cowl section off of your truck, you're going to start by drilling out all these spot welds on the top. You're going to go all the way around. And then once you get to this point, you're going to take out your cutoff wheel or sawzall, whatever you're going to use. And cut it all the way across this way. So once you get this panel off and you're left with this lip, it's going to be fairly simple for you to remove this mainly because you're going to have access to these spot welds and you're not going to need that extension. And two, you're actually going to be able to get a tool behind there to pry up on it. Now on the donor vehicle, you're going to do it a little bit different way. So on the junkyard piece, I would try to drill these out from the back. That way you have a nice lip that you can actually drill out your own holes. As far as this section, you can basically do it the same way. You can drill it from the inside. If you can't get access to it, drill it from the top. So the biggest difference between removing the junker panel, which this is what that is, and then your original panel, is the original panel, you can beat up as much as you want. This one, you really don't have that choice because you're trying to reuse it. So the best way to do this, whether you drill from the top or the bottom, you're going to have to remove this piece, whether that is folding it over or cutting it off, because there's going to be no way for you to actually get any type of pry tool into this area. All right, so as far as reinstalling this piece, because, I mean, this thing's clamped down. If all my metal work was done and everything was primed and painted and I had my weld-through primer and the spots that I was going to rose that weld, this would be ready to go back on. As far as this panel goes for me, I have a lot more work that's involved to get this done. I might actually hold off on finishing this. I might do a couple more things on it. But honestly, I think it's time that I started on this cab corner. Because I promised you guys a video about a year ago, and yeah, it's been a year, and I know some of you have been asking about it, and honestly, when I went to do this repair, I opened a can of worms. I did not expect the amount of metal work that I'm going to have to do. One of my biggest issues at this point is that I was going to actually use a couple pieces off that junkyard panel, and with how that panel came off, it's not going to happen. So honestly, I need to invest in a shrinker and stretcher and a metal brake, which I don't have yet. I don't know why with all the metal work that I always do, but that's the main reason for kind of moving on to something different.
Oh yeah, one other thing. I would like to know what you guys are working on. So why don't you shoot me a comment down below and let me know what your project is for the winter. If you guys like these videos, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you on the next video. Later.